If you want it to be successful, you need to put enough energy into it to make it successful. A lot of times the world wants us to fit into a box, like this pure, beautifully curated box. And like when I would go to agencies, people were like, oh, like you're so complex. I don't even know what to do with you. I was like, what do you mean? This should be good. Just pick something, you know? And so, you know, I'm just like, uh, why is it so hard for people to deal with multi-passionate people? And it's not like I'm trying to do everything. No, I literally love everything that I'm doing. And I know people have that, that thing, a jack of all trades. I was like, I'm not really a jack of all trades. I really love, <laughs> I really love mastering things that I'm passionate about. And I feel the more that we normalize mastering things that we're passionate about, it gives people an opportunity to fully express who they truly are. We are multidimensional human beings, point blank, period. And I think we are surprised when we try to put ourselves in a box. And I'm saying, I'm not saying everyone's meant to do eight things, maybe two or three. I mean, when you really start feeling into your gifts and talents, I do believe we're given more than one. And that might look like your career and your family and a hobby. It could be that simple. And for us, it might be seven different things. So, but I do <laughs> right, we're, there's levels to it. I do believe that we are meant to thrive in different ways. And the more we have a time and opportunity to nurture those things and not suppress them because, you know, and focus is very important where you focus your energy and your time. I did have to learn that lesson as a multi-passionate person is that, okay, now of all those things you like, what do you want to focus on? What do you want to prioritize? Because where your um, attention goes, energy flows.